Hey guys and welcome to Skilling. While we are all familiar with electric vehicles which run on lithium ion batteries and lead acid batteries, there is another promising technology called hydrogen fuel cells. In a hydrogen fuel cell, the anode and cathode are connected through an external circuit. Oxygen is absorbed from the atmosphere and pumped into the battery through the cathode while hydrogen is stored in pressurized containers is pumped in through the anode. The hydrogen atoms split into ions and electrons at the anode. The ions move towards the cathode through an electrolyte present in the cell. The electrons travel to the anode via the external circuit inducing the flow of electricity. Once the hydrogen ions reach the cathode, it reacts with the oxygen and produces water and heat. While this might seem like a cleaner way of producing electricity, it's actually not. And that's because hydrogen is not freely available in the atmosphere. It has to be synthesized and this process of synthesis ends up releasing more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Fuel cells have previously been used by NASA in the Gemini and Apollo missions and Toyota has also used hydrogen fuel cells to power the Toyota Mirai which was launched in 2014. It had two hydrogen tanks with a combined capacity of 122 liters. It was capable of producing a maximum output of 153 horsepower. Toyota released the 2021 update of the Mirai recently, which has three hydrogen tanks stored at a pressure of 70 megapascals. Why don't you find out more about the specifications of the 2021 Mirai and let us know in the comments. Until then, stay tuned to Skilling.